Okay, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'm taking a totally different approach compared to what I usually do on my YouTube videos. I just wanted to take some time to be a little bit more real with you guys. I feel like I don't really do that a lot on YouTube um, especially, but on Instagram and stuff and TikTok too, like it's really hard to be real on those channels and it's even hard to be real on YouTube because it's so enticing to be very polished in everything that you create because you want to be perceived as some sort of perfect person. But the problem with that is that if you are portraying yourself as this perfect per person, then you know inside you'll be like, well, that's not really exactly who I am. Like I wish I could just you know be who I am and that's, that's what I do on social media. So that's kind of like what I want to do with this YouTube video um, and also kind of more with my like YouTube channel. I think a lot of the content that I create, um, you know, is all about lifting. I don't really talk about anything else that's going on in my life, but there always is like a ton of stuff that's going on in my life that I don't really talk about. Um, I'm a full-time college student. I am in, you know, 18 credits per semester, pretty much every semester. So I'm in school like a huge majority of the week. Um, and I almost talk about school just not at all on this YouTube channel for whatever reason, um, which I mean is surprising to me because it's like a lot of stuff that I think is really applicable to stuff that I talk about on here. Um, I mean, I'm going to school for physical therapy and you know, a lot of stuff that we learn about physical therapy is very applicable to what we're doing here in lifting. And I really want to, um, well, I mean like long-term goals combine, you know, what I do with online coaching, lifting, RP um, with kind of my background in becoming a physical therapist. But that's really like, you know, beyond the scope of this video. Um, I just really kind of want to talk about authenticity and why it's really difficult for people, and especially me, um, like I don't want to say people because that's just generalizing to other people. Um, but I want to say that it's difficult for me to be entirely real and authentic on YouTube, um, you know, because of those reasons that I outlined earlier. But I've been creating YouTube content since I was like 14 or 15 years old. So I've been doing this stuff for like seven or eight years, which is actually like kind of nuts when I think about it. I'm currently 22. Um, and yeah, this stuff has been going on for a while. You know, I've been creating, you know, Clash of Clans content way back in the day, which would be like base builds, like Town Hall 5 base build. Like I was really excited about making that video. <laughs> None of that stuff is public on my channel anymore. Um, I don't even know if it's still on my channel. A while ago, I had like a different channel and I created this one specifically for lifting. So most of the videos on here are lifting besides this paper towel fort video that I did with my friends way back in the day, um, which was fun. And that was actually the first video that actually got a decent amount of views. I think it got like 40,000 views and I was just like blown away, which I mean, I still am blown away. Like that's insane for a video like that. Um, so that was fun, but I created like lifting content pretty much from the first day that I started lifting weights, which I feel like a lot of people don't do. Um, but it was something that I definitely enjoyed doing because initially I recorded myself in the gym so that I could review my technique afterwards and get better. So I just really wanted to create YouTube videos for that, but it ended up also being something that I was very inspired by, um, like David Laid and also some other Clash of Clans YouTubers that I had been watching back in that day. Um, I just really wanted to have like a YouTube audience that, you know, cared about, uh, cared about what I was doing. And it's definitely something that, you know, has come to fruition, especially with like my uh, transformation videos. I got a lot of subscribers from those. And, you know, back when I was making powerlifting content, a lot of people were big fans of that. So, you know, all of that stuff kind of happened and my dreams really did come true because now I have like 25,000 YouTube subscribers. Um, and this kind of all backs up what I'm about to say. Like, it's really hard for somebody with a decent amount of followers and attention from social media to, you know, be 100% who they are if in their past videos, they haven't been doing that. So in my case, I haven't been you know, 100% my authentic self in all of my videos because in even like, like the past year and a half, for example, I've been creating, 
you know, videos of my lifting and I've been doing voiceovers for pretty much all of them. And it seems like that's not something you can really fake, right? Because it's just me lifting and me talking over it. But in reality, it's me recording myself four, five, six times in order to actually get this voiceover down the way I want to. Um, so I'm like not stuttering during it. I'm not saying something a bit wrong. Um, and I'm really trying to portray like the best version of myself that actually doesn't exist in real life. So it's this really interesting situation because this is something that I found myself doing for pretty much my entire YouTube career. Like every time that I stutter um, during my videos, I will re-record that portion of the video and then clip out the part where I stuttered, put in the part that is actually good. Um, this is an interesting situation because this all relates back to me having a stutter back in the day. So, I mean, I still have it to this day, which is why I, you know, cut stuff out all the time. But in this video, I'm really trying to not do any cuts. I don't think I've made a cut yet in this video, but hopefully we'll be able to continue that as long as I don't go any crazy tangent or something that I don't want on YouTube. But we'll see. Um, really trying to be authentic in this one. But anyways, way back in the day, I really struggled with stuttering, which was like elementary school, middle school, big time. I got bullied for it a lot in middle school. Um, that's also something that I haven't talked about much on YouTube is, you know, my experience as a younger kid, especially when like I started creating YouTube content. It was something that I like kept secret from a lot of the people at school. But eventually it was something that was a big source of people making fun of me. They would like play whatever YouTube video I just posted, like full volume on their laptop and like just get a bunch of people crowding around the computer laughing at it because it was me talking about like my lifting or some shit or what I was going to eat post-workout. Um, you know, looking back on it, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But for me back then, it was a huge deal and it really, really affected me. And kind of what I've been doing recently is somewhat similar. You know, I'm trying to hide the part of myself that used to be a source of being bullied. Stuttering was a huge source of me being bullied back in the day. And now, like, I don't include any of that stuff because I'm worried that, you know, people will say something stupid about it. Um, people won't watch my videos because I stutter. People won't watch my videos because I'm not perfect. Like this, this all sounds like cliche, cliche shit, but it's all stuff that I'm like very real about. I'm not trying to create this video to, you know, get people to feel bad for me or something like that. I just really wanted to make a video um, to just like actually talk to you guys. I haven't been doing that on YouTube in a long time. It's always been, you know, me lifting, um, me talking about my lifting and that's it. I haven't talked about really anything else. Okay, I almost cut the video there because I feel like I didn't really like that intro too much, but I'm just gonna let it roll um, and not gonna fuck with it too much. So I really wanna just make this video because I wanna reflect on kind of where I am right now, where I wanna go with this channel um, and you know, things like that. I've been creating pretty much the same content for the past like year and a half. It's been all of like me lifting with a voiceover over the top. And you know, like I said earlier, it's not, the most authentic stuff. Although it could be a little bit more authentic if I actually just like sat down, recorded the voiceover and didn't really think too much about it. But it's really hard for me to do that. I find it's, um, I don't know, my mind just obsesses over the things that I do slightly wrong. Um, so I guess that is evidence that I'm a perfectionist. Um, and that's something that I definitely struggle to realize a lot of the time because even like when I get something right, it doesn't feel like it's perfect. Like I feel like there's always something I can do better. So it's it's always a, it's a constant struggle, right? Um, and so I've been creating pretty much the same content for about the past year and a half. And I think that's a problem because for me, I think it's really important to be evolving over time and doing things a little bit differently over time. Um, if you do something over and over that's the exact same, It'll get boring. Um, it's not a new challenge for you anymore. Your skill set just pretty much stays where it's at. Your skill set's not improving. The difficulty isn't going up. It's just, it's all terrible. I'm just kidding. Um, it's just not exactly what you want it to be. You really want to have, to be in this like zone where it's hard enough for you to actually use like slightly above what your current level of skills are, but also, 
um, to be working on something that is just like slightly out of your reach and that is challenging. That's a really important part of creating content that is enjoyable for me. Um, so that's really kind of where I'm trying to go with this is that I need to make content that's a bit more challenging for me. Um, and I also feel like I want to like open up more to you guys. I like I haven't made any videos like this in the past. Um, I haven't just like sat down and talked to you guys for a video. It has always felt like it needs to be, um, you know, there needs to be other stuff in it. There needs to be, you know, me lifting. There needs to be, um, I don't know, me changing up the scene, stuff like that. But I just want to be entirely authentic. So for like the past few months, I would say, I've not been like very consistent with my YouTube. Um, this is something that I think is a result of a couple things. Number one, I finished my first bodybuilding prep, which a lot of people experience like post-show blues, stuff like that. I wouldn't necessarily say that I experienced post-show blues, but I was more so experiencing like the difficult effects of gaining a bunch of body weight in a short amount of time. You gain a decent amount of body fat, and I've definitely gained a decent amount of body fat, but like I'm like if you just ask me how I'm feeling, like I'm I'm feeling damn good. But if you ask me like how I feel about how I'm looking and stuff like that, like body image is definitely a hard thing um, coming out of a show. And I'm not gonna say that I don't struggle with it at all because I definitely do to some extent. Um, just I know other people struggle with it more than me. But um, that was probably one thing that has resulted in me not creating as much content recently. Uh, number two. Of course, my content hasn't been really challenging me a lot recently. It's just kind of been the same content over and over. So it's gotten a little bit boring, which is why I really want to turn a new leaf and start creating some more content that I'm really interested in. Um, I'm personally really into like education. I like um, being able to teach other people, but at the same time, I just really, really like learning stuff. So that's why I've gotten really into like Renaissance periodization. I watch tons of their videos. I now work for Renaissance periodization. I run both of their, well, I run Dr. Mike's and the RP TikTok, and I do some other miscellaneous stuff for them. But um, that has been a big focus of mine outside of school. But then something that I never talk about for whatever reason is school. Um, I'm a college student. I'm a full-time college student. I, uh, you know, have 18 credits per semester, which is a full schedule. Uh, I probably have, I don't know, dude, somewhere in the ballpark of like 30 to 40 hours of school per week plus, you know, studying and work on top of that, plus like lifting as much as I can. So life is really busy and I feel like that's probably like the third reason of why I haven't been creating as much content. Um, but creating YouTube videos for me is never something that in the past I would think of as work. It has been something more recently that has started feeling like work um, because you know, I make a little bit of money off of YouTube. It used to be a little bit more, well, it used to be a lot more um, when like I was doing powerlifting, when I was making those transformation videos, like all that type of shit. Um, but recently it hasn't been a lot. So when you start making money from something, no matter what it is, it'll eventually start feeling more like a job. And that's exactly what I don't want YouTube to feel like to me. I want it to feel like something that I can, um, sit down and do simply because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy editing videos. I enjoy recording stuff. I enjoy being able to actually talk my thoughts to viewers and maybe just myself. Like, I don't know how many views this video is gonna get, probably not very much, but I'm really trying to not care about it that much. Like me saying, not really that much. That's just me thinking that I do care, but I'm trying not to care, right? All right, so I've had a few technical difficulties. The audio stopped recording on that one clip you guys just saw, and then I tried to record a little outro and said a few more things, and the audio didn't record there either. So while I love this microphone, I think it's really cool, it is just having, you know, some technical difficulties. Back to what I was talking about. YouTube recently has been feeling a little bit like a job because I'm getting paid for it. Um, I used to get paid a lot more, of course, when I was like powerlifting, doing transformation videos and stuff. And honestly, like that part of um, my YouTube career has been a little bit difficult to move on from because a lot of times I have people that say like, hey, like you should start making powerlifting content again. I loved that content. Um, you know, I miss seeing you and Sawyer and Liam and Dom and all them. Um, where like, I, I totally feel you guys. 
those days were fun as hell. I really, really liked those days. Um, lifting back then was super fun because it was like, I didn't know if I was going to like achieve what I was setting out for when I went to the gym. Like I didn't know if I was going to get this PR or not. And I think that's like what really makes viewers interested in those kind of videos because it's, um, you know, the outcome is not guaranteed. Whereas with bodybuilding, you're going to get the workout done. You're probably not going to get hurt. You're just going to be growing a little bit of muscle. Like it's a much more like long-term um, type of sport in comparison to powerlifting because powerlifting, like you can get PRs every single time and like lift big weights all the time. And it's like really entertaining to watch. So <clears throat> that's definitely been a difficult um, point of my career to move on from because uh, like so often I just have people that say that I should start doing that again and that's like not who I am you know it's been like two years since I've done that kind of stuff and like quite honestly it's not something I'm thinking of going back to either because of my injury history I got injured a lot during powerlifting and that's like really what got me out of it and um, even like when I started lifting like when I started lifting, it all started with an injury, which is something that I haven't talked about on here either, but it's definitely something I want to make a video on in the future, like how I actually got into lifting, and it's all because of a back injury that I had. So, like, I, I got an MRI and everything. I had, like, a bulging disc in my spine. Like, what I really want to be doing powerlifting and putting a bunch of, like, extra stress on my lumbar spine and possibly cause a herniation or, like nerve compression where it won't be able to come back or something like that like I don't know it, it's sketchy but like it's fun as hell to do powerlifting but man I was getting injured all the time and it just wasn't fun for me which is kind of why I moved on from it um, so I definitely want to talk about that in a, another video where I can be a lot more detailed about what all happened and what all transpired because of it <clears throat> and what kind of other injuries I had when I was a powerlifter, because that's just what got me out of it. But um, <clears throat> anyways, I just really want to like make content that I don't, um, that I generally, that I genuinely enjoy. It's like not that I haven't been enjoying making the content that I have been making, but it's just not been super challenging for me. And that's something that I need. I need that challenge. Like that's what I love about school is that it always challenges me. Um, I'm, I'm always building on the knowledge that I've learned in previous classes and the classes just get more and more difficult. But I found that as school gets more difficult each semester, like I enjoy it more and more because it's just more and more of a challenge. I love being challenged and it's um, <clears throat> something that is just like a huge passion of mine, learning and then just like getting better, applying that learning and progression, I guess. I, I love making progress. So like what I have been doing with YouTube, it's just been difficult because I haven't really been making much progress on YouTube. Um, like I, I guess I could focus on, you know, how many views I've gotten and stuff like that, um, which has not been great. Honestly, when I started bodybuilding, um, you know, this channel, like the views and engagement and stuff like totally went down. Like I think still my best performing videos are my transformation videos, which those are years old, you know, um, but <clears throat> those are still my best performing videos, which is kind of like, damn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I don't know where else I wanted to go with this video, but um, just I want to be more authentic. I'm going to make more content that is difficult for me. Um, I definitely want to create some like more educational style content and hopefully um, give you guys some free knowledge. You know, I'm going to school paying hell of money to be here and I, I better come away with something that I'm able to teach to somebody else. So that's really what I want to do with this channel. I want to create a bunch of stuff that you guys can get value from. I never want to be the YouTuber who, um, you know, is just posting content for entertainment for other people. Like, I'm glad I never dropped out of college or something like that. I know like, I don't know, sophomore year or something, I was kind of like vaguely considering it, but I'm really glad I didn't because just all the other people in the fitness industry are uneducated people. Um, you know, not completely uneducated. Of course, you can learn stuff outside of college, but being in college is a very rigorous, um, uh, you know, thing to be taking on and you'll just be learning so much stuff like it's generally 
like I feel like it's pretty impossible for somebody to like sit down and learn everything you would learn in college without going to college because your ass is not going to sit down for like eight hours a day in a classroom and just learn the whole day. You're not going to do that. Let's be honest. Um, but I guess that's another topic for another video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just never want to be the YouTuber that is just making content for entertainment, like me lifting, me flexing, and that's the end of the video or something like that. Like that's not what I want this shit to be. I want it to be like you guys can take something like concrete from this and apply it to your own life and improve your own life in some way. That's really what I want to do with this stuff. Um, and that is where we're going. So honestly, it might be like more self-improvement stuff. It might be stuff relating to what I've learned in class. Um, and you know, other things like that. Just that's kind of like where I foresee my channel going. I definitely need to do more brainstorming about it on my own. Um, but yeah, it just won't be like the same shit that I've been doing for the last year and a half because it's driving me nuts. So um, yeah, if you have made it to this video, I really want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, like from the bottom of my heart, it means a fucking ton to me if you have stayed to the end of this video. I'm sure this video won't get a ton of views, but the people that do see this and do watch a lot of it or the whole thing, like if you watch the whole thing, like holy shit, like you guys are who I make this content for and I just really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and you're having a good life, bro. Um, and I hope I can make it a little bit better too, which is definitely where I want to go going forward. So have a good rest of your day. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. And I'll see you later. Peace.